Uh, hey everyone who's joining the main stage i, have, I think we have a lot of a lot of viewers night right now so hey i'm uh, Thule uh, from dazzle rocks and uh, i'm here to uh, present present you guys the company and uh, please if you have any questions uh, just let me know and uh, yeah let's do this so uh, dazzle rocks uh, is uh, a startup company in helsinki uh, finland we're in uh, much very much a growing phase right now this is our lovely management team uh, so uh, stella is our uh, wonderful ceo uh, and uh, jonas is our coo and uh, alex is our cto and uh, all of them have uh, uh, have a background in the games industry. Uh, they have all uh, previously been working at Ferrovio, and they've known each other for over ten years. Uh, ten years, and uh, Dazzle Rocks has actually just turned five uh, five years old. So uh, yeah, excited to uh, to uh, be in the team with them. And uh, about the. Um, uh, Dazzle Rocks uh, investors. So we're in very uh, good company. Uh, we're backed by some of the uh, most famous uh, famous games industry investors in the world and uh, some of their uh, sort of success stories that they've been involved with uh, previously involve Supercell uh, and Next Games. And uh, in our previous investor uh, round uh, during last uh, last spring, we raised over uh, over six million dollars uh, for our next. Uh, next MMO game. So we're in a quite a good position uh, position currently and uh, quite quite stable as well. And um, uh, what's our vision? Uh, the vision for Dazzle Rocks is to be the category leader in social MMO games for both uh, mobile and also uh, cross-platform in the future, uh, both in the East and West. So we're targeting uh, targeting a very, uh, very large audience. And uh, how we're actually going to do this uh, is that we're focusing on social MMO games. Um, and uh, a lot of uh, user-generated content, uh, real-time community exchange, and uh, player-driven economy games. And uh, how are we uh, like targeting our audience? Uh, we're targeting them with a blue ocean strategy, so we're trying to target as large of an audience as possible, but also uh, with a, sort of a niche uh, niche product. So. Um, uh, some of the things that uh, we're targeting is the social generation, uh, young adults, uh, and uh, something that is kind of uh, special to us is also uh, the fact that we want to be uh, female friendly and uh, our games uh, are also non-violent. And uh, the third uh, strategic pillar is the Dazzle engine. Uh, we're mainly working with Unity, uh, but uh, we actually have our own MMO service platform, uh, which is completely our own tech, which adds a, adds a cool layer on top of the fact that we work, uh, work mostly uh, well, mostly with Unity. And um, the current project uh, that we're working on, uh, it, it has a code name uh, that I'm unfortunately not gonna <laughs> not gonna reveal here. Uh, but the vision for the current game is that it's gonna be a social platform, uh, a social gaming platform that empowers players to design, create, build, buy, and sell the virtual items in an open living world. So basically what we're tar targeting is combining both a social platform uh, and a game. So it's gonna be a platform where people are eventually gonna be able to create their own games. And um, this is something uh, new uh, in the industry and uh, it's a groundbreaking project. So definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of different challenges and uh, cool tech, uh, cool tech that we're working with. And uh, someone asked uh, in the Q&A that will these slides be available to go through later? Yes, uh, they can be found from our virtual booth uh, at the Dazzle Rocks virtual booth. And there's actually some additional information there uh, if you want to go and check it out later. And uh, then about uh, the team itself, uh, we currently have 21 people uh, in the team. And as mentioned, we're growing. Uh, and the team is also very international. We already have six different nationalities. Uh, so we're uh, definitely uh, looking to uh, looking to include, include more in the team, uh, team later on. And uh, the uh, company language is also English, uh, English so there's no need to uh, need to know Finnish uh, to join, uh, join work with the team. And um, 
uh, some of the other uh, aspects of the team uh, that are very, very, very important uh, to us is the ambition. Uh, we know that we're working on a project that's completely new uh, and requires us to think differently and uh, really cre create uh, something that hasn't been created before. Uh, so there's a there's a high ambition in the team uh, to be uh, to be the best uh, best in the industry and. Uh, Values are also super important for us. Uh, there are currently uh, seven sort of driving values uh, values for the team. And uh, one of them uh, that is, I think, most uh, most prevalent uh, in the team is self-management. So we don't really have uh, have a traditional um, sort of structure in the team. No one is going to uh, come and say to you what you need to do, when you need to do things, or how you need to do things. Uh, people need to uh, need to sort of figure that out uh, by themselves and with the teams that they're in. Uh, and that is uh, very prevalent uh, prevalent in the culture, uh, but. On the other hand, even though uh, there is a lot of self-management required, uh, we are also a team that care a lot for each other, and we really do fa value the family feeling that we have at the studio. Uh, for example, our CEO just the other day was just going around, uh, going around the, at the studio, giving giving out tea to everyone. She was like, "Oh, I made tea," so uh, <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a really uh, welcoming welcoming family feeling uh, when you when you come to the studio. And uh, one of the most important things that we value is also T-shaped uh, skills, meaning that uh, there's a variety of things that people are uh, usually required to do uh, because it is a small team. But in addition to that, everyone has at least one or two things that they're uh, wanting to specialize in uh, or want to develop themselves in. So uh, the variety of tasks is also something that keeps, uh, keeps the work super interesting. Now, um, a lot of you are asking uh, in the uh, in the chat, what kind of positions do we have open? And uh, these are actually the listed open positions that we currently have. Uh, we're mainly currently uh, out looking for senior game developers. Uh, we're looking for two. Uh, two uh, senior game devs to join the team. And uh, uh, then uh, art director, UA manager, senior UI UX designer, cloud operations engineer as well. And uh, since we are a growing team, uh, there might be uh, new positions popping up, uh, popping up from time to time. So we highly recommend you to check out uh, our website from time to time. And I also recommend uh, connecting with me on LinkedIn if you have any questions, uh, questions or anything like that, you can find my profile. Find my profile uh, on the uh, attendee uh, attendee list and uh, from LinkedIn. So, uh, looking forward to to talking with you more there. And uh, yeah, that's it from me uh, for now. Uh, we actually have a Q and A uh, starting at uh, twelve uh, with me on the virtual booth at uh, at the Dazzle Rocks virtual booth, and then uh, later on at one, uh, our CTO Alex is going to join us. So if you have any questions about tech. Uh, related stuff, uh, please feel free to join us at one uh, for that Q&A. And, &A. and uh, there's also going to be a panel later on today at four uh, in regards to relocation uh, and uh, what are the different kinds of relocation benefits and all kinds of other other things that have to do with relocation. And I'm going to be I'm going to be in that uh, panel. So uh, if you have any questions in regards to that, please feel free to uh, reach out, reach out and uh, follow the panel there too so yeah um uh there's one question uh about internships do you possibly uh, offer internships for next year uh we don't know yet for sure uh but please uh do keep tabs on our website because as i mentioned we're in a growing phase and there might be uh, might be changes quite quickly in the team so uh there might be a situation where we are uh, are taking in interns as well and as mentioned before uh the slides will be available at the virtual booth but i think there's the next session starting soon so i'm not going to take up much more time so i'll like thank to you take very it away much. yes thank <laughs> you very much Tuli. thank you very much uh, guys you you uh, go check out the cool booths um, of desert rocks in the in the studios area thank you Tuli. thank yes. you thank you